Hey everybody, it's that time again. Time for Daryl's Monday Market Report. Here's what's been going on in the Collin County real estate market the last seven days. Smoking hot, of course. This week in all of Collin County, we have 1,111 a, a uh, properties in various states have just hit the market or being under contract. We're up 92 from last week. So the market just continues to, to be smoking hot. I was uh, actually at a house down the street from where I live and there were people in every 15 minutes. And I was showing some folks and and uh, people thought it was an open house. I had to lock the door up and say, sorry, private showing, have to come back. It's that kind of market if you're thinking of selling. So let's, let's go over the numbers this week. So there are 296 new properties hit the market this week or at a price change in all of Collin County. 286 went under contract, so look at that. Barely replaced what what, what uh, hit the market this week with what uh, with the number that went under contract. What's that? 10, 10 over. So basically zero replacement of inventory. 158 went pending, and look at this number, 371 sold. So if you're wondering things selling, you shouldn't be wondering that. Because it is a smoking hot market. This week in Allen, 27 new properties hit the market. I had a price change. 18 went under contract. 10 went pending and 33 that sold. And I've had people ask me about investing here recently. Just want to let you know, me, I'm, I'm a small broker. But every week I have conversations of three to five people looking to move here. A lot, probably half of those are from California every week. So if you're wondering, will I find tenants for my rental property? I'm working with a client. We try to put an app in on one house, 20 applications in. So it's very similar to what it's like on the sell side. If you if you own a rental property, you're thinking of it. Lots of people that are moving here, 365 a day to Dallas or worse. So something to keep in mind if that's something you're wondering, should I be considering buying an investment property? Of course, right now prices are high, rates are low, so a way to lock in a lower payment if you want to look at it that way to uh, help your cash flow in the long term. Okay, this week in Lewis, Lucas, sorry, it's Monday, I have, have not had enough coffee today. In Lucas, we had two new properties hit the market and had a price change, and look at this, three times the number one under contract that hit the market, six under contract. One went pending and one sold. Fairview, we had five new properties who that hit the market this week or had a price change. One went under contract, four went pending, and five sold. Parker had one new property hit the market or had a price change, six went under contract. So Parker, if you're thinking of uh, putting something on the market, not much competition because six of them just disappeared. Nothing went pending and three sold. And in Plano this week, 65 new properties hit the market and had a price change, 61 under contract. So barely replaced one went under contract with the new properties on the market in Plano. And as I mentioned, it's one of our older suburbs, known as an outer ring suburb. So homes there, some of them are in the midst of uh, being rehabbed in major ways like parts of Dallas. With 33 that went pending and 72 that sold. And by the way, this week, the number of properties either on the market or sold, Plano was number two. McKinney was number one with 275 properties either new to the market or under contract this week. So speaking of McKinney, 63 new properties to the market or had a price change 74 under contract. So negative inventory replenishment in McKinney. That 275 this week talks about how let you know McKinney strong. So if you're thinking of selling a McKinney, great time. 47 properties went pending and 91 sold. Frisco came in number three at 230 properties under various states of uh, new to the market or sold this week. So 62 new properties to the market or price change, 66 under contract. 29 went pending and 73 sold. So see, even the replenishment of inventory is almost negative every week. That's why we have 
houses are on the market for hours before they sell in many cases if they're in good shape. If they're not in good shape, have one on the market right now that's not in great shape and uh, it's going to sit there a little bit. Melissa this week, 13 new properties to the market or had a price change, 7 went under contract, 2 went pending and 7 sold. Princeton, 11 new properties hit the market this week or had a price change, 3 went under contract, 7 went pending and 21 sold. So again, negative inventory replenishment in uh, Princeton this week as well. In Wiley, we had 16, 16 new properties hit the market and had a price change. Don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today. It must be because it's Monday. 18 went under contract, 6 went pending, and 19 sold. Probably because I was busy all weekend too, putting offers out on properties and showing buyers. As, long, as well as getting my showing schedule for one of my listings. And of this week, 12 new properties hit the market, had a price change, 6 went under contract, 3 went pending, and 12 sold. So the new inventory made up for only half of one went under contract this week. So Anna, great time to be putting your house on the market. Levon this week, 2 new properties hit the market, or had a price change, 3 went under contract, none went pending this week, and 5 sold. Farmersville, one of our more rural markets, one new property to the market, three went under contract, nothing went pending, and four that sold. And in Van Alstine, four new properties to the market, look at this, seven went under contract. Plenty of new construction in Van Alstine, and uh, Van Alstine's in two different counties, so if you're not familiar with it, Southern Parts and Collin, and uh, about midway up is Grayson. One went pending and six sold. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Today I am finally going to do the video. One of the videos I was talking about, I'm going to talk about appraisals this week. Have a great one. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions you have. My contact information is at the end of this video. Enjoy the day. It's going to be warm. And then tomorrow, cool off by 20 degrees. See you next week.